Hello team, welcome to my session and today we are going to discuss about the common mistakes people does while preparing for CCSP exam. Do you know the failure rate of CCSP exam is much higher than CISSP and because of multiple reasons. So I am going to discuss about the common mistake that you must avoid while preparing for the CCSP exam. Okay, which people does and because of that they fail this exam. So I receive a lot of feedback and based on the feedback I am going to consolidate everything in this video. Who am I? My name is Prab Nair. I, I used I am taking the CCSP CISSP batches from uh, being last uh, eight years. CC, CCSP from last five years, but CISSP I am taking from last eight years. I did a complete video domain series and I receive a lot of positive feedback on those videos. And for more information, you can refer my LinkedIn profile. So let's start with the first section where we're going to discuss about the first mistake which people does while preparing for CCSP exam. They start with the Cybex, then read all in one, then read blah, 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 multiple books. And by end of the day, they get confused. Their mind become blank. So my suggestion is that focus only two books. Trust me, you are very lucky. IC Square has launched their third edition of CBK. It is much better than their second edition and their first edition. So third edition of CBK, CCSP CBK third edition is already out. Use that as a first reference. Second book as a compensatory control we say in CSSP or supplementary or support book you can refer is dummy guide. CCSP dummy guide. The best thing about CCSP dummy guide is their important points. In every paragraph or after some topic they mention about point to be known some that is the best thing about the book you want to buy that book both books I will share that book descriptions links everything in my description of my video this is the two primary book you should refer now I'll tell you why CBK third edition IC square exams are somehow based on the IC square exam book language I'm sharing my experience team okay even for my CISSP I always refer to read the CBK so when you read the CCSP CBK 3rd edition, you can have a taste of the IC square exam questions. Okay, uh, negative thing is that this book does not come with a question bank. That is a negative thing about the book. But the positive thing about the book, the language of the book is well crafted, which is required for your exam preparation. I'm talking about CCSP CBK 3rd edition. Okay, and some counterpoints which you feel gap and everything that is fulfilled from a dummy guide. So these two the primary book. If you really want to refer week before the exam, two more books I will refer you week before the exam. Week before the exam is uh, one is Cloud Guardian by Juven Betty. So Cloud Guardian is there. The URL of that book I will basically refer in my description box. Sorry if I pronounce name author wrong, but the book name is Cloud Guardian. And the second book my brother Prashant Mohan Cyrus. So that is the best book. So these two are the best book that you should refer week before the exam. I received a lot of positive feedback about both books and it is highly recommended to review these two books week before the exam. So first mistake, avoid reading multiple books. One more important thing, if you are not good in domain three and domain five, because this is the turning point of CCSP. So for domain five, you can refer all in one. The best thing about all-in-one book of CCSP is that they are well crafted, especially for domain 5. So if you want, you can refer. Otherwise, now everything was mitigated, limited everything in the CBK 3rd edition. So that is the first thing, which is called as a mistake while reading multiple books. Second most important mistake people does is overconfidence. I have a Azure experience. I have a AWS experience. I have a Google Cloud experience. Your experience is more from a practical implementation, but the exam doesn't test your practical implementation. Exam, think like a manager. Most of the people who failed in CCSP exam, they fail because they think like a implementer, not like a manager. They don't have a knowledge of the security governance, a governance which is happening also in the on-prem and also in the cloud. Governance always remains same, set of operation. Regulation always same, risk management always same. So it is very important for you to have a good understanding, not a basic good understanding of GRC. Don't worry, I have a solution. The solution is destination certification videos. 
Robert Richard and John Berthy did the immense, amazing work. Okay. I myself instructor who recommending other instructor because this video is purely talk about the feedback. Refer their domain one, domain two, domain four, domain five and domain seven and domain eight. If you get a time, you can review all their six hour video. It's free, which is available. It's a video of CSSP, but that knowledge of that CSSP will definitely help you for your CCSP exam. This is a recommendation for those who directly going for the first exam in IC square, which is CCSP. Because those who have already done CSSP, they definitely went through those mind maps. But this is the recommendation for those people who are going to write first IC square exam. And those does not have a governance experience. For this exam, for a sake, please understand you read a governance experience. Okay, example like there is a some incident happen in the cloud. Okay. The first thing is to confirm the incident. But if you think like a practitioner, you will isolate the system. So governance say, understand the problem first, then initiate the requirement and then work on the corrective action. But when you think like a practitioner, you directly going to shut down the machine. This is what governance experience come and that governance experience, the gap is basically filled by reviewing these videos. One more important thing, review the CISSP CBK questions also. Okay. Four tradition CBK questions are very good book questions. Even the IC square, their self based training has some question bank of 160. You can refer that. Why I'm telling you because CCSP, we have a very limited questions. So my suggestion is that you can refer the CISSP question bank also for your basic understanding because somehow it will definitely help you. There's a one more video which I can recommend a CISSP Larry exam 2020. That video is give you the perspective about how to read question. Again, this is a recommendation for those who are going to write first exam of IC square. Because as I said, those who have already attempted the CISSP, they already taste the IC square exam. So they don't need to go for it. But those who are basically going first time for CCSP exam or first IC square exam, I highly recommend to review the Larry video which is called I will share that video description okay in my description box the best thing about the video is how to read question okay so this is the second mistake which people don't read governance they don't read the governance aspect and with the overconfidence they go for this exam now small advice for CSSP aspirant see you are CSSP passed okay I have seen couple of folks even clearing CSSP they failed CCSP miserably because Try to understand when you're talking about the CSSP exam, you already seen so th those things like hub, router, switch, firewall, because this is something your day to day activity, which you have seen from last 15 years. But when it comes to the air pressurization, HVAC system, okay, cloud migration, cloud interface, cloud management plane, you never worked on that. And you completely rely on the book, which is mentioned in the book, whatever the knowledge is there. So that is why it is very important. You need to experience that. Okay. So do not go with the overconfidence. Third common mistake, which people does is memorizing the topic. Giving you an example in domain one, we have a characteristics, a five important characteristics for the cloud computing. It means this is the five mandatory characteristics is required for the cloud computing. One is called as on demand on demand access. It means whenever I want the instance must be available because this is how the book has talked about. And with the same concept, we go in the exam, but we do not understand the basics of the on demand. On demand means it must be available whenever it required. But what is the disadvantage? You need to understand the risk of that governance risk because if everyone requests for n number of instances, it can have a governance issue. This is what the beauty of the exam. Instead of only remember on demand mean the service must be available whenever it required, understand the risk aspect also. This is how the exam is testable. See, I'm not breaching MD, I'm just giving you an example. One more example is broad network access. This is what we have learned mean instance must be accessible from everywhere. Now, you know, instance can be accessible from everywhere. Think like a cloud security advisor. What is the risk of that? Because if you ask the cloud architect for him, it's a great functionality that my instances are available from anywhere. But what is a disadvantage? What is a risk? What is a governance risk? 
from this particular concern. You're getting a point. So now we're talking about uh, broad network access lead to a re legal and regulatory issues because data hosted somewhere in Europe and you're accessing from anywhere. So that's the biggest concern. Multi-tenant, cost effective, but security issue is one tenant can able to access the other tenant data. So it's very, very important to stick with your basic first. Understand the risk and security of those concepts. Let me give an example from a security point of view. We have a confidentiality, integrity, availability. If you go by the definition of a confidentiality mean protection against unauthorized disclosure. But how to achieve confidentiality? Encryption is there. Access control is there. So exam is, doesn't talk about how to achieve con uh, what is confidentiality. No, they will give you the problem about the disclosure. You need to give the solution of confidentiality. Okay. So very, very important is when you read the book, when you read the concept, feel it. Read like you're going to implement instead of going to memorize. It will not help you to clear the exam. I repeat, it will not help you to clear this exam. In CCSP, form the study group. Discuss the issues. It's very important. Okay, on demand has this advantage. What is the disadvantage? Uptime Institute talk about tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, tier 4. What is the disadvantage of going with the tier 4? Okay, CDN is basically talk about accessibility for content whenever it required. What can be the backfire in the case of CDN, regulatory issues? DRM offer the most effective security while data sharing content, but what is the disadvantage? Where we need DRM? CSU SAD, create, store, use, share, archive, destroy. We know in CBK discovered, but what is the concern in CSU SAD? What are the controls we have? So, management plane. Oh, management plane, uh, AWS console. Okay, but who is responsible for security? We try to untouch that area. That where my overconfidence hits. It's very important when you read the management console, when you read the management topics, when you read the cloud console, cloud topics, do not skip the basics of cloud. It's very important. That is why it is highly, highly recommend to attend any vendor training before going for CCSP. Either AZ900 or the second is we have a AWS cloud practitioner. It's very important because in CSSP, you have seen those things. In CCSP, you are going to experience. You are just going to learn what is in the book until unless you can see visible. So my suggestion is that do AZ900 or AWS practitioner or Google Cloud basic course, which give you visibility about how cloud works. So third is do not memorize the concept. Fourth mistake, practicing random questions. See, Cybex can be the starting point. Boson, you can go for it. In Udemy, we have some question bank. I will share in a in a uh, in your in a in a YouTube description box, comment box. That give you good visibility. Apart from that, you can also go through my question series. That give you a kind of understanding how to understand the questions and all that. So that is the thing. Fourth, uh, sorry, fifth. The most important thing is lack of understanding of a domain three and a domain five. See, in domain 3 and domain 5, not everyone worked because that is more from a data center point of view. My suggestion is that review the Google Cloud data center video. If you are unable to find, I will share in my description box. Otherwise, you can tap Google Cloud certification video, or Google Cloud data center video, where the Google Cloud data center has been demonstrated. In the video, they have explained about what are the components are required in the data center. Do not take for granted domain 3 and domain 5. It's a very important domain. It's a very important domain. Okay. For that, I highly recommend to review the CSA guidance 4.0 for that sections that give you good perspective, especially management plane, who is responsible and what is that and domain five, you can refer the AIO if you did self-paced training. Is it clear? So this is the most important thing. Another, which is called your, another mistake, which is a fifth mistake people does or sixth mistake people does is lack of clarity about who does what. What is the role of a cloud provider and what is the role of a uh, cloud customer? Okay, suppose in the IS, I'm assuming I'm getting instances. Okay, we need to document the responsibilities. So good understanding of SLA, good understanding of contract, we used to ignore that. And those topics is directly and directly will basically make you pay in the real exam. So my suggestion is that you need to have a good understanding of the contracts. You need to have a good understanding of SLAs. You need to have a good understanding who does what in which service model and which deployment model. Like in IAS, infrastructure services, customer has a more control. In the SaaS, 
customer has a lease control. This is what we have learned in domain one. But in domain five, we talk about forensic investigation. This is how the topic get mingled. So until learners, you don't have a visibility of a domain one. It is difficult for you to answer the domain five questions. So this is the thing. Last point, which is basically talk about your uh, uh, one more important point, which I would like to add here is review the Reddit forums, feedbacks and everything. Check the experience, what they're talking about. What is the visibility? Okay. And very important is whatever the feedback comes, take those feedback seriously. Okay. That is the most important thing. The last most important mistake which people does is they basically, uh, you know, uh, don't read the question carefully in CCSP. I'm hundred percent sure you will be confused between two options. That time your, your mind, your eyes become blank. You can't see anything. Panic and fear will not take you anywhere. I repeat panic and fear. They don't take you anywhere. Mark my word. And I'm sure you have experienced that also in CCSP exam because of time stress, because you only have a three hours. Okay, 180 minutes to answer the 125 questions. There's no option to review back. And when you read the questions, you get confused. Why? Because you get panic. My suggestion is that come back, come back in 10 seconds. Read those options carefully. You know, you confuse it in two options. In CCSP, I'm talking about not CSSP. In CCSP, you confuse it in two options. Not because of those options are very similar. No because of the language one word i repeat one word one word will change the answer and you will not be able to understand in a one reading mark my word read it again i'm sure you will find the solution and if you find the solution share your feedback in the in the comment box this is the most important advice i'm giving you team in the ccsp exam game of concept basic concepts security in cloud and game of basic English is required mind attention is required in reading every option that's the most important thing okay so if you find this video useful do share your network and do share your feedback in the comment box thank you bye take care